Japan's next-generation fighter isn't just another jet. It's a flying supercomputer that could outsmart, outfly, and outrun almost anything in the sky. Forget the clickbait. Japan's new fighter jet isn't science fiction anymore. It's real, it's bold, and it's being designed to break limits, not just speed records. And here's where it gets hilarious. Every few months, the internet explodes with headlines like, Japan secretly launches world's most dangerous aircraft. You click it expecting to see something straight out of Evangelion. But nope, it's just the same F-35 footage shot from a dramatic angle at Misawa Air Base. Same plane, new thumbnail, millions of views. The truth? Japan hasn't tested any sixth-generation fighter yet, not even close. Close. What's really happening is that they're developing one, a monster called the FX, set to take flight around 2030. But right now, the Japanese Air Self-Defense Force is still flying good old American-made F-35s. It's funny how people fall for these overhyped videos, a bit of fog, a cool camera angle, and suddenly everyone thinks Tokyo's built a stealth spaceship. You've got to hand it to those thumbnail artists, though, pure genius. But here's the part most people forget. The F-35 isn't just some placeholder until the FX arrives. It's the backbone of Japan's air power right now, and a key piece in the US-Japan alliance puzzle. Think about it like this. Both countries using the same jet means easier repairs, shared spare parts, and common tactics. If something breaks, Japan can swap components with the US, or even share updates like, hey, here's a quicker fix for that stealth panel issue. Performance-wise, it's still no joke. Mach 1.6 speed, a range of over 1,300 miles, and radar evading stealth that makes it nearly invisible to enemy systems. Sure, it's not the robot jet of the future just yet, but it's smart, lethal, and perfectly tuned for real-world missions. And here's where Japan draws the line. They don't just want to buy the best fighter, they want to build it. For decades, Japan relied heavily on American hardware, from F-15 to F-35s. But the FX is different. It's a declaration of independence. It's Japan saying, we've learned from the best, now it's our turn. The goal isn't national pride for its own sake, it's control. Japan wants wants a fighter designed for its terrain, its defense doctrine, and its technology stack. No export limits, no waiting for foreign updates, and no locked systems. The FX will be the first truly Japanese stealth jet, a symbol that Japan has moved from following innovation to leading it. This isn't a paper dream. The FX program is real and racing toward a 2030 debut, built through a powerhouse collaboration led by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and Britain's BAE Systems with dozens of domestic tech firms contributing Contributing expertise. They call it a fighter robot from the future, and that label isn't pure marketing. Using advanced digital engineering, designers create virtual prototypes and test aerodynamics, stealth treatments, and systems long before metal is cut. That digital first method speeds development, cuts costs, and makes design iterations far smarter than old school approaches. The aim is to make the F X one of the world's most advanced combat platforms, blending machine intelligence, surgical precision, and lethal agility in ways current jets can't match. It's expected to reach Mach 2.5 and fly more than 1,860 miles without refueling, giving Japan range and speed it has never had. The airframe will use adaptive stealth skin, materials that change properties with speed, heat, or radar conditions, effectively acting like armor that thinks. Inside, onboard A, I will assist the pilot by making split-second combat decisions and managing vast mission data. Crucially, the FX is built to command, not not just to fight. From the cockpit, a pilot will control drone formations in flight, an airborne ecosystem of scouts, shields, and attack partners. The F-X acts as the queen bee of a swarm. Drones that jam radars, serve as decoys, scout ahead, or press the attack on command. That lets one human brain coordinate multiple robotic allies in real time, creating near-total air dominance. The arsenal isn't ordinary either. Japan aims to field hypersonic missiles, weapons exceeding Mach 5, that can hit distant targets before they react. Engineers are also testing directed energy systems, real laser weapons intended for offense and missile defense, able to neutralize threats in microseconds. Fitting those lasers into a stealthy airframe is fiendishly difficult because they demand massive power, and managing that without compromising weight, heat, or radar signature is an engineering nightmare. Still, Japan is already advancing active radar seekers for its next-gen missiles, signaling a serious commitment to future futuristic weaponry. The FX didn't spring up overnight. Its roots trace to the X-2 Shinshin, Japan's experimental stealth prototype that taught engineers about radar absorption, thrust vectoring, and digital controls. Companies that once built F-35 components for the U.S. 
Mitsubishi, IHI, and Subaru are now channeling that know-how into a fully Japanese program, every bolt, circuit, and panel under national control. Stealth on the F-X isn't just hiding from radar, it's fighting back. The jet is designed for stealth to sensors, meaning it doesn't merely disappear. It actively deceives and degrades enemy systems. If an adversary locks on, the FX can scramble signals, distort its apparent position, or project false echoes, turning a single aircraft into multiple ghosts on enemy screens. It's deception as dominance, a transformative approach that could redefine air combat and make the F-X not just a jet, but a strategic instrument of confusion and control above the clouds. Here's something most people overlook. Japan holds a rare seat at the top table of aviation technology. It's the only Asian country with direct access to the F-35 program. That means years of first-hand experience with stealth coatings, radar systems, and digital flight integration. Every upgrade, patch, and engine tweak the U.S. made, Japan learned from. So when they decided to build the FX, they weren't starting from scratch. They were starting from the fifth generation, aiming straight for the sixth. That head start gives Japan an edge even over regional giants like China, which is still trying to reverse engineer what Japan has already mastered. But reality is harder than ambition. On paper, the FX looks flawless sleek, deadly, and futuristic. In practice, it's a mountain of challenges. The biggest hurdle? The laser cannon. It's massive, power-hungry, and difficult to integrate without compromising stealth. Every tweak seems to create a new problem. Weight affects stealth, stealth affects cooling, and cooling affects speed. Energy is central to the challenge. High-powered laser weapons demand enormous power, yet stealth requires everything to stay lightweight and low observable. Engineers are testing compact energy storage systems that can recharge mid-flight while keeping radar signatures low, a delicate, near-impossible balance. Enter the XF9-1 turbofan engine, built by IHI Corporation. Delivering roughly 33,000 pounds of thrust, it enables supercruise, sustained supersonic speed without afterburners, while powering advanced radar, sensors, and experimental laser weapons. Everyone calls the FX a sixth-generation fighter, but no sixth-gen jet officially exists yet. NGAD, Tempest, and FX are still in development. Sixth Gen isn't just speed and stealth, it's AI co-pilots, drone control, energy weapons, and data fusion, a fighter that thinks as fast as it flies. Japan's FX might not be the first to fly, but it's shaping what the sixth generation could truly be. Autonomous, stealthy, and armed with futuristic firepower the world has never seen. Think of the world's next-gen fighter projects as three racers at the starting line. The U.S. has NGAD, secretive, costly, and backed by decades of air dominance. Europe fields Tempest, a high-tech collaboration between the U.K., Italy, and Sweden. Then there's Japan's FX, sleek, intelligent, and quietly closing the gap. None have flown yet. The race is happening in labs, wind tunnels, and computer simulations, with nations racing to master hypersonics, AI, and digital warfare. Japan's advantage lies in precision and patience. While others chase headlines, Japan focuses on refinement. Using digital twins, virtual models of the FX, engineers simulate flights, stress tests, and system glitches before production begins. AI predicts design flaws early, saving time and money. Modular construction allows the radar, cockpit, or engines to be upgraded independently, keeping the jet future ready. This digital-first approach transforms Japan's defense strategy. For the U.S., Japan's progress strengthens Pacific security, easing pressure on American forces. Combined with shared knowledge from the F-35 program, the FX ensures real-time interoperability it's not competition, it's collaboration, a strategic high-tech shield over the Pacific. Japan's FX project isn't just about producing a jet, it's about building the blueprint for the future of air combat. Imagine a fighter that can think, react, and fight alongside its pilot, part machine, part mind. That's the dream behind Japan's sixth-generation vision. Even if the timeline slips or the prototype stumbles, the technology being born from this effort, AI integration, autonomous drones, laser defense, will shape the next century of aerial warfare. The FX isn't chasing anyone else's legacy, it's creating its own. When that jet finally takes to the skies, it won't just represent Japan's engineering power, it'll mark the moment the future officially arrives. Japan's FX isn't just chasing speed, it's redefining what a fighter jet can be. Whether it truly becomes faster than a bullet or not, one thing's clear, Japan's future is flying straight toward the next era of air dominance. Don't forget to 
to like, share, and subscribe for more stories like this.